Hello everyone, welcome back to a new update video for Shining Force PC. Yes, I'm aware it's been a very long time. I've been a very busy guy. I've been at graduate school at Carnegie Mellon's Entertainment Technology Center. But that's a story for another time, which I'm sure if you're interested you can read about on my blog. For now, we're here to talk about pathfinding. I was working on pathfinding earlier this summer for Shining Force PC. As you can see at the beginning of the video, May was kind of doing circles there. So there's currently limited support for giving NPCs predetermined paths to follow, so they will follow that route until they, at the end of the route, and then they'll stop moving. But more exciting than that is enemies in combat can now pathfind to whatever target they think is closest in range. So let's get started. So we've got just a basic little test map here with a variety of different uh, land effects and different obstacles in their way, so we'll move up Bowie. We're just keeping it simple, one player, two enemies. And these dwarves here will sit on their hands and not do anything until they believe they can get to the player within one turn. There's no actual AI governing making choices about what target's the best target to attack, whether they should stick together to keep a loose formation, tight formation, anything like that. Right now it's just basic pathfinding. If they think they can get there in a turn, they'll try. So if we have Bowie move up again here, you can see that this dwarf is thinking. All the squares that got highlighted in red were squares that he was considering, and then the final path was lit, lit up in blue. And now the second dwarf's turn is up. Lights up all the squares he's thinking about, and again, in blue is the path that it's decided is best. And I've been using an implementation of the A-star pathfinding algorithm, which, if you're curious, there's plenty of resources online for you to read about and learn more about how that works. I'm aware that the, um, the shift into and out of combat the displays a little bit bugged. That's because of the uh, changes I made to display the uh, pathfinding as it proceeds and decides what the best path is. So once, once I turn that off, it goes back to normal, so that's nothing to worry about long term. I may or may not fix that for a debug purpose. So we'll just let this run for a few more rounds so you can see when they, uh, when they decide they can get a good path, when they decide, nope, I can't get there and I'm going to stay. And then sometimes, like I think right here, he might decide he thinks he can get there, yeah, but he's not going to be able to do it. It thinks that, it, currently it'll still treat the enemy. An enemy team will consider its allies squares it can pass through. So it will assume that it can get there, but then when it goes to actually calculate the path, you can see that path is actually one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. eight squares long, he's got a movement of like five, so it, it still obeys the rules for where he can move, but his estimate was clearly way off, so he ended up getting stuck. So that'll get fixed eventually, this was a very big project to add this on. And this took me about two, two and a half weeks at the beginning of the summer before my internship started, so I thought I'd, I didn't even think I'd have an internship this summer. I was actually very pleasantly surprised to end up working at Shell Games here in Pittsburgh, which was a lot of fun. But back when, at the beginning of the summer, I didn't think I'd have an internship at all, so I assumed I'd be spending all summer working on Shining Force, and I'd have a lot more done this summer than I did. But that's about it for now. I guess we can run one or two more rounds with the show. A little bit more pathfinding here. Works pretty well. But yeah, this is not it. There should be another video accompanying this one to show you the other thing I've been working on this summer, which is pretty exciting. So, see you guys next time.